our guide was just explaining these steps as you walk down the hill here that uh, apparently at some point the excavators found these steps and they went up here to try to figure out what they went to and they found absolutely nothing. So pretty amazing. But that really, really heads up there. Long way up. <laughs> and I understand we are nearing the end of the tunnel way into the city. So hopefully very soon we'll be seeing the city. Oh. He told us about a very nice shot. Yes, I see the gate. I see the gate and the door of Petra up ahead, right through there. If you look, you can see that. Coming into view. Coming into view. Look at that. down into the front area here. This gate looks absolutely magnificent and I'm not even through the through the opening yet. Alright, so we have this little shop here. Virginia. 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 And then this big wide open area before the open, the gate here. Virginia. To Petra. And the ancient city goes on down there. You got camels down here, waiting for camel rides for people who want to ride them back up. 
You've got the buggies and donkeys here. Quite a bit of activity going on. You can hear me clear, and I'll be pointing on this copy on what, what you are looking at. So, so far, I hope you had enjoyed walking in this sea, in this canyon. When we get out of this sea, we could see what? The most beautiful, well preserved monument in all of Petra. Now, the name of this facade we are looking at is what? The treasury. First of all, that's a wrong name. It have nothing to do with the treasure. Was named the treasury by who? The locally. Why? They thought that the Pharaoh of Egypt, he had he hide his treasure up there where the urn is. You know, they start doing what at that time? Shooting bullets. Thinking what? While shooting bullets, the urn will be broken, treasure will collapse, they will get rich, but they were wrong. We did discover that the urn was representing a Nabatir king's tomb. So this was, that was a burial place for a king. Later on became what? A temple. A temple. If it's a treasury. You can see what he's talking about, shooting bullets, because of the entrance trying to break the urn. The right there, you can see all the bullet holes all over it. And we did not find any inscription to prove where it was called. Most of archaeologists and scholars, they think what? That was carved on the first century BC. Possibly it took masons at that time, not less than 40 years to carve it. The materials for carving, the materials for carving, they used to come starting from where? The top. This is why you can see the footprints on left and right. Now the height of this facade, 131 feet high, 131, 92 feet wide. It's cut out of two stories. Well, you can see on the second story, the urn in the middle, facing us above my finger here on the urn statue. The urn of Isis. Isis, the Egyptian goddess, yes. It's not Isis of the 21st century, these levels. And the left and right of the urn, it shows the two Amazonian dancers, one on the left, one on the right. They were holding axe in their hand. You know, axe, like sword, representing power. Then, on both sides of the urn, in there, can you see the wings on their back? Look above my finger here. And I'll pass by to show each one of them. Can you see the wings on their back? Here on the copy. On the copy here. Can you see the wings on their back? And he is talking Look about here. the wings on, on the cup. back you see the wings of the, the Amazonian dancers so like to either side the right there. Looks like angels. Uh -huh. Angels. That's a mistake by David Robert. He chose wings for the angels. Look how careful he was. That's a on the back. On either side of the urn. Even if it looks like arrows, it's right. not arrows. If you zoom with your camera, there. it straws of wheat. Ah. The of fertility. And the first st or the two pediments on the top. On each pediment there is two eagles. There is four eagles. One, two, three, and four. He had it, the heads fell down. Even 1839, it shows that they lost their heads. Maybe by people, maybe by erosion, by time. And the first story, six huge columns, with the huge Corinthian capitals. The only column that was restored, the third from the left. One, two, look in the middle of the column. Can you see blocks of rocks? Okay. That was restored in 1961. Even here, 1839, it shows that was falling down. This is the only the column last thing that on was this restored. Facade, there is two the rest of these are original. Figures. But the two columns from the left, it shows the whole, the nice not riding standing. These men were representing the sons of Zeus or Jupiter. 
beside you and the horse seems is going to fly. You know in the Greek mythology, you know that horses could fly? Pegasus. Pegasus. Now inside there, as I've been asking questions, what's inside? Nothing inside. The beauty of this place, what you can see from outside. We are no more allowed to step in. No need. What's inside? Inside even later on. To reach your driver, he says that inside there's nothing to see. There's one on the left, one on the right. You don't see left and right. But it's similar. But the movie of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Thousands of people they came after seeing the movie. I think, I believe, it's worth it when you go back home and watch this movie. The last 15, 20 minutes shooting was here. Thousands of people they came after seeing the movie. I did, I did tens of them. And I still remember when I used to walk with them inside the sea, they used to say, oh, shit, that's better than the movie. <laughs> then when they used to see the facade from outside, they used to say, we did not expect that, with this height, with this beauty. But later on, they were disappointed, where? When we used to step inside, they used to do like this. We shared, what is the rest? The rest of what? <laughs> and they said, in the movie, that's Hollywood. <laughs> now, friends. For a group photo, you have two options, either by using one of your cameras or just to take both. There is a photographer here. Yeah. You take like these photos, this nice photo. Yeah. Even it's just better during the snow. You can take a group photo that comes with this size. You bring it to the hotel. And even if somebody ordered it, it has to be good. If it's not good, you leave it. But by the way, it's not good. It's an accident. Not good. It's an accident. If you wish, you could take, bring it to the hotel, and even if you order it, yeah. if it's not good, you leave it. They do charge. Ten is here. They do charge ten US dollars for the big photo like this. Are you interested? Ten dollars. So friends, faster. Pastor, Pastor, why don't we do it like this? Everybody will be happy. We stand there, we'll take a photo with this camera. We'll find out how many wish if it's a good photo. The rest, we can use one of your camera to take it. Yeah. And I'll let him take it with your camera also. Yeah. Friends, let's do the key photo. Let's